Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. All right, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. Capiche? Capiche. All right, guys. Listen, y'all. I hope you're having a lovely day. You guys could be seeing the angel number 111. I just saw it before I start before I clicked on this camera. It's 113 right now. You guys could be seeing the number 13 a lot. Um for whoever this is for, you're definitely going through some sort of major transition, transformation, some form of change in your life, whether this is a change that's happening within you or a change that's happening outside of you. <sighs> You guys could also be seeing the angel number 1212 as well. Okay. There's a major shift that is about to take place here. And it's going to be happening like worldwide. A lot of people are going to start changing their perspective on situations. Okay, or, or changing the perspective when it comes to their own individual life. There's a lot of people that are going to be waking up. I keep seeing hot air balloons. Look, again, something here about a great ascension. See how there's hot air balloons all over these cards? That's what I was looking at over here. Um, and then earlier I just got a text saying that September is the month of self care awareness okay so whoever's uh, whoever this reading is for if you've been um really putting others first before yourself or um just really putting your your self-care routine on the back burner you're you're really being guided to not do that you're being guided to stop doing that okay there's a need to change your routine or make room, make time for you because whoever you are, you make time for everybody else other than you. So for, for whoever I'm speaking to, you could be a mother, you could be a father. Um, you, you could be, you know, of course, take care of your children, put your kids first. You know, there's certain situations where you need to put your kids first. But um, for whoever I'm speaking to, like you don't, you're not, you feel like you're not catching a break or something. You feel like you can't catch a break for your own time or like juggling, juggling time between like, you know, if you work, um, time that you spend f to work and time to spend, you know, with your kids and time to spend with, you know, your significant other, if you have one or whatever it is, friends, family, all that jazz. There's, there's, some, you keep getting, whoever I'm picking up on, you keep getting pulled in multiple directions and there's a need for you to like set firmer boundaries or more strong boundaries. Like, like I feel like whoever this is for, like you may know this is something that you need to do, but you just don't know where to start or... There's a need for you to sit down with yourself and like really figure out what 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 you want, what you need, what what's doable, what's workable. Okay. You you guys could also be seeing the um, the angel number twelve thirty four as well. Like basically, what I'm getting is like it's really important or this would be a really good time for you to like really assess like what needs to be changed because for whoever this is for like there's something here that definitely needs to be changed like you need to ask yourself like are you happy with what's happening like with what you're doing on a daily basis like what needs to change what needs to be switched up in order for you know you to be at peace for you to I don't know, be happy child i don't know something like that let's look at one one though this book is from amazon i know some new people watch my channel um i've already mentioned this before though it's called the spiritual meanings of numbers book um it only goes up to the number 99 or not 99 999 okay so it's a very um this book though even though it goes up to 999 so something about that number is significant 
anyway even though it goes up to that number this book does a good job explaining what each number really means individually so that when you come across other numbers like for instance like 144 or 1234 you could still be able to decipher what those numbers mean by breaking it down does that make sense okay so let's look at first off let's look at 999 because i said it already okay my bad it it it's nine 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 four nines okay it says a major message for you time to understand your life purpose it says it's time to tap into divine wisdom the emergence of nine 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 in your life is trying to help you channel your energies towards positive interactions with the world through light work or positive leadership nine 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 lets you know that you are meant to help people and heal the world you are unique a beacon of hope working out good karma and positive synchronous synchronicities it says don't be afraid blessings are coming we just need to prepare for them to by protecting our energy from negativity and surrounding ourselves with beauty and light if you are currently facing depressing or negative input from others or life circumstances work practically towards solving these issues to utilize the vibrations of 9999 properly so like i was just saying before uh, there's a need to there's a possible there's a way to solve whatever issue you're dealing with okay um let me see let me see it says self-sacrificing compassionate patient and optimistic you work for the warfare of humanity seemingly at the cost of your existence however because of your deep connection to the spiritual heart of the universe you will never run dry. Your angels are working closely with you as you end one phase and begin another. Your cup is overflowing. Hot diggity dang! We have opportunity to heal the world. That is what your future holds. Your future will hold or is holding an opportunity for you to heal the world. Okay? What you can do, you could serve others through volunteer work or charitable giving, speak positivity into other people's lives through works of art, words of encouragement, gifts of generosity, and charitable work. Stay focused on track with well-paced scheduling and optimized workplaces, meditate or practice yoga for increased mindfulness and spiritual sensitivity okay so it's time right now it's time for you to understand your purpose and and be open to certain opportunities where you can help heal the world that's what it feels like to me some about distractions you guys could be experiencing a lot of distractions pulling you this way and that way um something is time it's time for something here <clears throat> holy spirit holy angels what do they need to know this time we have overcoming obstacles it says get back on your feet gain strength from difficult situations so for some of y'all, you guys could be in the midst of, you know, dealing with some form of difficulty, obstacle, setback, whatever it is. Just know that you're going to be able to get um, over this mountain, this hurdle, okay? Don't give up. Get back up. Ciao. What else they need to hear? Because once you get to the top of this mountain or on top of this obstacle, this is when your new beginning starts. Someone here could be born on the 22nd of the month or the number 22 is very significant. Okay, we have glow up. Whoever I'm speaking to, you about to go through a glow up baby boo. Look at you glowing up. 
growing up. All right. I like this. It says, take a day to spoil yourself. If it makes you beautiful, then do it. So some of you need to pamper yourself. Self-care. Awareness. Tell me more. We have give less fucks. Okay. <laughs> it says, the less you give a fuck, the happier you will be. And this is very true. This is very true. Listen. And this is coming from somebody here who is a is a still struggling worry wart. I worry over a lot of things, okay? Um, but, you know, the trick of it is to really just catch yourself and be like, you know, sometimes you need to have a talking with your own self and be like, hey, you know, is this really worth worrying about? Am I overly just stressing myself out over something that's imaginary that hasn't even happened yet? Like, what is this about? Like, is this like, you know what I mean? Whatever. You need to give less fucks, whoever I'm speaking to, okay? That's your job. That's what you need to do right now. And you need to release expectations. There's a need for you to detach from an outcome, from whatever you're trying to, whatever goal you're trying to achieve, whatever um, vision you have that you want to materialize in this 3D world. There's a need for you to detach from the outcome or when it's gonna happen. You need to detach from the when. Well, when is it gonna happen? You need to, don't even have that thought in your mind, okay? Because when you release that thought, that's when it will come in quicker. It says, do not focus on money. It says, aspect of your dreams. It says, abundance will come at the right time. So basically what you're being told is to continue to focus on the reason, you're, the reason why you're doing something when it comes to your dreams. Focus on how it makes you feel, confirmation. Focus on um, how it helps benefit other people, how you're helping heal the world. And less on, am I getting money from this? Is it da -da 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 -da? Because that's not what it's about. Because now you're switching your whole, your whole intentions are now off. And I know that's hard to do, especially when we live in a world where you need money to survive. I understand that. Um, but the thing is, you're thinking out of your ego, okay, when you think that way. And instead of what your third eye is, because you're, you're, it, how can I explain this? Don't allow your ego to get into the way of what you're trying to manifest. Because when you, your ego is more, is very much tied to like the 3D world, right? But when you manifest, you don't manifest with your ego. You manifest with your third eye. With your imagination. <laughs> okay? So, um, something about that is of significance. Ciao. But somebody going through a glow up. Or maybe you want to do a little something different with, you know, your appearance. Maybe you want to go get a haircut. Go get a haircut. Maybe you want to go dye your hair. Go dye your hair. Or you want to go dye your beard. Or maybe you're deciding to go no beard. Um, for my men and my women. Okay, these are examples for my men and my women. Okay. Um, something like that, chow. I just heard something about a tattoo. Some of you want to get a new tattoo. Okay, I don't have any tattoos, so I don't know. But something about that is significant. Let's use these. Nah, let's do these. Oh, I almost forgot. I also was hearing um, this song. I think it's by Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. But it goes, um, Love me, love me. Okay, I don't know. That's the melody. Um, did I look it up on this one or this one? Oh, look, it's 127. That number could be significant for some of y'all. So I feel like whoever we're picking up right now is somebody from your past that you you had to learn a karmic lesson with. Because the number 20, 27 is about lessons. But let's see. I don't want to use this.
Yeah, okay. So the beginning of this song, it goes, it, the song's called Love, period, okay? It's by Kendrick Lamar. The song starts off by him saying, damn, love or lust, damn, all of us. Okay, so either maybe you got this past person not understanding the difference between love or lust or maybe this person thinks they're in love with you but really they're just lusting after you okay this person could be trying to manifest you or someone here could be trying to like you know manifest you through sex magic in some way okay whether that's them pleasuring themselves or this is them having sex with another individual and they're thinking about you okay one or the other but um it goes, I want to be with you, A. I want to be with, I want to be with you, A. I want to be with, and then it goes, I love me, just love me, just love me. It's too high pitched, but you know what I'm saying. So this is, somebody here wants you, they, they, but this is somebody here who's lusting after you. They don't truly love you is the vibe it's giving. Sorry to report that, but that's the truth. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? You guys could be picking up like if you guys um if you guys are tapped in you guys could be picking up on a lot of love songs it's from this person because the cycle's ending so it's it's from this person they just you know <sighs> yeah we have choose wisely somebody here wants to come in and they want you to choose them okay but i feel like whoever i'm speaking to you've already chose the right choice you let someone go you decided to, you know, end a karmic cycle with this person. We got sacrifice here. Yeah, you chose to move on. Somebody doesn't want to let you go, but it's destined for you to move on from this person. Okay? Or it's something here about your destiny has to do a lot with you leaving this person behind. Because you're here to heal the world. This person is not part of your destiny. Okay? This person wants you to sacrifice your destiny for them. This is a selfish person. This person's envious of you as well. This person's envious of your destiny. This person's envious of your good fortune, your will of fortune, your life in general. Yeah, someone's envious of your material harvest and the fact that you intuitively see through this motherfucker. Okay? Somebody doesn't like that you know some things. Like, you know a lot about what they got going on behind the scenes. And they could be upset because they don't know what you got going on behind the scenes. You could be moving in silence at this time. Yeah. Somebody here is upset because you're in hermit mode. Somebody's trying to figure out what your next actions are with this Ace of Wands. Okay? Something here about your new beginning. You know what it's, this feels like? It's, it feels like whoever I'm speaking to, you got a fire within you, right? That's burning bright. It's, it's like you're very much passionate about something here. And someone's watching you have this type of, you know, fire, this passion for something. And they're just upset because you don't have that energy, that same type of energy for them. So it's like this person's been trying. Someone's been really trying to um, put that fire out that you have and then you could redirect that energy to them because they benefit from you i don't know you know how like when you spend it's like you know how they say um whatever you focus your energy on that's what will grow it's like somebody was used to you focusing on your is focusing your energy on them because and they were benefiting from it like they were growing they were seeing growth in their life but the fact that you no longer are focusing on them and you're focusing on yourself or whatever you are passionate about or your life mission your purpose whatever it is now their life is dwindling or things are slowly dying or something like that okay they're not seeing growth they could be feeling stuck okay so someone's trying to someone is like in their mind they're thinking if they destroy or distract you from what you're focusing on and you focus on them then something in their life will improve okay something along those lines so it's 
it's important for you to continue to stay focused. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What's happening? We got to choose wisely. Yeah, we got the devil. The devil wants you to choose them. Somebody wants you to be stuck and bound in toxicity. Lord have mercy. Somebody mad. Somebody angry because you chose wisely. Number seven is on top of this card. So it's giving me like you, you grew. You learned. You have wisdom. Somebody mad about the fact that you have some form of wisdom. Okay. Or that you have cleansed yourself away from whatever this devil-like energy is. Something here about tempting. Maybe someone wants to come in and tempt you. Maybe this is what someone's doing energetically and it's not working. So now they're going to come in in the physical and try to tempt you to see if you'll still let them go. This could be a queen of swords here. Okay. Or you could be in this queen of swords energy. Like, um, with the queen of swords energy, it's giving like, you know, exactly what you deserve. You know, exactly what you're going to put up with and what you're not going to put up with or allow, you know, to happen in your life or allow, you know, certain things in your life. You, you're standing firm on something here. And you're not afraid to tell somebody like, no, you're not afraid to, you know, set some form of boundaries here. And somebody here could be a little intimidated by that. Or somebody's mad that you're in this Queen of Swords energy. Like somebody wants you to be back in like a Queen of Cups in reverse energy or something like this. Somebody wants you to be like overly emotionally attached or something. But you're not. You're thinking logically. Yeah, we have seven of challenge chalices. Somebody here wants to confuse you. Someone wants to tempt you. Someone wants so someone's gonna come in with a badass offer. Or this is what somebody did in the past. They know they came in and gave you a shitty offer. They're mad because you didn't accept it. You didn't choose them. You didn't settle for something here. You didn't settle for less than what you deserve. Whether this is like business, lover, friendship, whatever. You didn't settle. Somebody's mad because you smart. Someone here could be born July 15th. This could be you or someone else. The number 77 could be very significant for some of y'all. We got the king of greens. So this is a king of pentacles. So there's a king of pentacles that could have offered you something in the past and you denied it. And this person's mad. This person could be a Capricorn. This person could be obsessed with you, child. It says, so Pharaoh said to Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. So someone's going to come in and try to give you, like, offer you a position to where you're going to be placed. You know what it is? It's almost like someone's trying to figure out, like, what is your temptation? Because maybe in the past someone has already tried to, like, tempt you to where you would be placed in a position of power but like i feel like whoever i'm speaking to you don't care to be like you're not driven by someone who wants to be someone who has power or or is in a position of authority or something like that someone's mad because they can't control you or something can you tell me more We got the star. Yeah, you shining bright. You a star, baby boo. You a shining star. That's just who you are. <laughs> okay. It says the star. It says the star of Bethlehem. So you're following your north node. Someone here was trying to, you know, give you a shitty deal. So you would turn your back on your life purpose. On your soul mission. But you didn't. That's basically what it looked like. You chose why you chose correctly. Okay, I'm also getting somebody chose to sacrifice you in the past. 
or to throw you under the bus or to betray you or lie on you in order for them to become a star or, or, or in order for them to get some form of position of power. So for instance, this could be something that happened at the workplace in the past. Family of her business friend. Um, these people are envious and jealous of you. Whoa, they're they're envious and jealous of you, okay? Because no matter even even though they betrayed you in the past, you still get in a material harvest here. This is why they're upset. So, um, this could have been at work. Somebody here, like a coworker, you and a coworker could have been, you know, had the opportunity to get some form of higher position at the workplace, and your coworker could have sabotaged your ass and maybe got you fired and then they got some form of position okay that you both were you know in the running for but now that person's in that higher position they probably they probably hate the life they probably have they're probably more stressed out but then then you're over here happy as fuck <laughs> living out your life purpose and with you living with your life purpose money naturally follows you always will be taken care of and somebody here is mad about this because whatever you're doing is emotionally fulfilling someone here will be born july 17th this is giving a lot of cancer energy you guys can be doing a lot of cancer don't have to be or you could be a cancer football needs to go And at the bottom of this deck, it says the nine of candles. So someone here tried very hard to try to get you to give up on following your life mission. It says in all of this, Job did not sin by charging God with wrongdoing. So someone here wanted you to blame God for why um, your life was going in a downhill position in the past. Or, or that it's going through right now, depending on whoever's watching me. We're all on different timelines on our path, on our journey. Somebody here is trying to get you to curse God. Someone's trying to get you to switch teams, if you know what I'm saying. The number 27 is on the clock. This was a test. You passed the test. You learned the lesson. Something like that is going on. Yeah, it says Satan tests Job. So you are being put under a test when you're going through some sort of hard, hardship or, or obstacle. Or maybe you're going through it right now. Whatever it may be, continue to hold on to hope and faith. Maybe this is what somebody was trying to get you to do. Give up on hope and faith. Trying to get you to lose hope in, in thinking that things were going to get better. Trying to get you to um, feel like going towards your life purpose is too hard. And to get you just to give up and enter back into the matrix. That's what it looked like to me. But um, that's for some of you, not all y'all. You got... um. You got ascended masters here that are very much proud of you. The number 22 is on here again. Job chapter 1 verse 22. Ooh. You know what else kind of gave me a creepy vibe but i feel like even like the devil himself like the darkness of this world even wants you to love like the devil misses you or something like that like the devil misses you something weird something weird is going on Okay, so this is the King James Version. You know how, like, it's just hard for me to understand it sometimes, but let's we'll do it anyway. It says, Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thether? The Lord gave, and the Lord haveth taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. Okay, child, what does this word mean? <laughs> I 
Oh my lord. This is this this whole um section here is about uh Job Job losing his family and his wealth. And Satan was like, "Oh, you still want to still want to praise God, huh?" And Job said, "Yes." He said, "I came into this world with nothing and I'm going to leave this world with nothing." So, it don't matter. Something here about materialism. Somebody here thought, you know, they could control you through things, with things and stuff. Why do you have sacrifice? We have several, seven of candles, so seven of wands. It says, David said to the Palestine, you, I could be saying that wrong. It says, you could, you come against me with sword and spear and javelin. But I come against you in the name of Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This is about David and Goliath. So, someone here was trying to be Goliath in your life, David. Okay, your name could be David, don't have to be. But, um, see, somebody here thought she was a winkling. See how David looked all small compared to this, gi this giant here? This is how somebody was looking at you, like you were a little peeny weeny little, you know, ant they could just crush. Or at least that's one that's what they wanted you to believe. Like you were up against something real big, something here real overwhelming and large, something that's seemingly impossible, but with God anything is possible. You passed some sort of test here, child. You defended yourself. A lot of sevens are out here so far, child. Let's just let's just show them. We got seven, seven, and seven. You guys can be seeing this number a lot. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups out here, the Queen of Chalices. It says, I prayed for this child, and the Lord has granted me what I've asked of him. So now I gave him to the Lord for his whole life. He will be given over to the Lord. Okay. Someone here could have been, um, someone here could have prayed for a child. Okay. Someone's name could be Hannah. This is Mother of Faith. The number 13. Someone here could have sacrificed their child or tried to sacrifice their child. I don't like where this is going. We got King of Candles here. This is the King of Wands. It says, I have been with you wherever you have gone and I have cut off all your enemies from before you. Now I will make your name great like the names of the greatest men on earth. King David. King David. Because you uh, defeated this this Goliath situation or person, the divine is going to make your name great, child. Whatever you've been praying for is coming in. Someone's name could be Samuel. Someone's name could be Peter. We have the hanged man. Chow. Somebody here hung themselves trying to hang you. Something here about public embarrassment is going to be a situation here. It says Peter's crucifixion. Somebody here is shad. Are they about to be real shad? This is the three of swords here. The three of feathers. Maybe you're going to hear about this. Wow, okay, I'm getting creeped out. Tell me more. Yeah, the Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody is not happy about your destiny being fulfilled or you walking into your destiny or some sort of fated situation happening. They could be really sad here. 
It says, But whoever drinks the water I gave them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water, welling up to eternal life. So, like we read earlier, your cup is overfulleth, or it will continue to overflow because you're in your destiny, okay? And somebody here, it, someone here was trying their best to um, win, at, win at all costs and try to sabotage you from gaining your destiny. That's all this look like. Child. They feel defeated. You defeated somebody. Okay. Somebody defeated themselves trying to defeat you. Nine of candles again. You passed some sort of Job test. Okay. Or you're going to. We have nine nine out here. Yeah, you're about to have some sort of feast or harvest, some form of celebration after being tested. Okay. Yeah, we got the hermit. You could be in hermit mode, child, or there's a need for you to go within, okay? Why do we have this? Somebody upset because you're about to be in a relationship. We got the four of candles. This could be a four of wands or someone's deceptive or someone's angry about what you've been building for yourself, your stability, your marriage, if you're married or something like that. Yeah, you're about to have some sort of victory here with the six of candles. Any blockages that have been in your way, they're being dismantled. They're being removed. You're free to go. We have the two of candles here. Someone here could be getting released out of jail. Okay, maybe someone here was falsely accused. Who knows? Um, someone's name could be Elijah. It says, Elijah went before the people and said, how long will you waver between two options? Okay, so it's like, you're out here to help people point them in the right direction to, the, to, to have a connection with the Most High, and the devil out here don't like it, or the darkness doesn't like it. Okay, basically. Yeah, these people are upset with the they're upset because they're going to be experiencing um a dead end with the ten of feathers here. They're gonna be experiencing a dead end. They feel weak. These people are losing their strength. Something like that is going on. Because you're gaining yours. Lord have mercy. Who does weirdo? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who these motherfuckers? Someone gonna get a DUI. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, somebody gonna get a D-U-W-I. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, someone's name could be Dewey. Someone here could be Deputy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who's, um, who's this deceptive and envious person? So this deceptive, envious person, okay, could be attractive. They could have long hair. Okay, or they're envious of your attractiveness and your long hair, child, or something. <clears throat> Who's this deceptive and envious person? Can we get a clue, baby boo? This person could have an accent, okay? They could speak a little differently, okay? This person could be a Gemini. They could have two sides to them. They could be two-faced. We have Cappies. This person could be a Capricorn. Or you could be Flip or Need to Go. We have curly hair, don't care. This person could have curly hair. Their hair could be wavy. This person could be Hispanic. Okay. This person could be a Libra. This person could be a Cancerian. This person could have a doggy. Okay. Or they could love animals. Or they've been sacrificing animals, child, to try to block you from your destiny. Whatever it is. Okay. This person could be hypersexual. Okay. This person could be using sex magic or doing sex magic here. We have olive skin. This person could have tan skin here. Okay. Who's deceptive and envious. We got Pisces. This person could be a Pisces or you are. Flip or need to go. This person could be a hothead. This person could be real pissed off because no matter what they try to do, you still good, baby boo. Okay. That's what it looked like. Tummy. Let's get out a good old kipperish dick. See what else we could pick up. Something really good is happening for some of y'all. And the reason I say some of y'all, because not all of us are on the same timeline, okay? For some of you, this is going to make sense six months from now. For some of you, this is going to make sense a year from now, okay? 
For some of y'all, it's happening right now. Or it's gonna happen in seven days. Tell my dad. Um, why do we have Chief Wagon? Somebody like swings. Something about a wooden swing that's connected to a tree. A tree swing? Or someone's a swinger. Swinging. Or you're causing people to sway? Sway way? Tray way? <laughs> I'm just joking. No, but you're causing people to sway or something like... You're turning, um... You're helping people open back up, okay? Like you're helping people heal their hearts or something here and to help them allow God back into their heart or something like that. Love back into their heart. Compassion, something. After betrayal. Wow, okay. Okay, why do we have Choose Wisely? Yeah, divination. Oh my god, divination here. Somebody here has been spying and looking into your life a lot. And they're angry about what they see because they see that you keep you keep you keep um picking the right thing to do. You keep making the right choices and they're so su they're surprised by this. Someone here could have gotten a reading on you and they're surprised about what the outcome of your life is right now child because you about to get some actual money this is something here that's destined for you to happen or this is a spiritual inheritance that's coming in and it's going to be materializing in this 3d world it's something that's destined to happen here okay and it's because of the choices you made a test that you passed okay you didn't you didn't you didn't blame god for something here we have hello hello it's me <laughs> I can't. oh my god somebody somebody from your past wants to um they want to reconnect with you this is the person that you fucking already said no to tell me more or maybe this is your test we have house someone here might want to come to your house and talk to you or they want to talk to you about a house maybe somebody lost their house Okay, someone who moved out of a home. Somebody wants to come in. They want you to trust them. This person could be in poverty. Ay, ay, ay. Spirit, who is this person? Holy Spirit, Holy. Well, and I don't even care about that. What is this person's intentions is my question. Because. What is this person trying to say hello? What's their intention spirit? Sabotage. It says I'm deliberately working to undermine your efforts. So someone's coming in. They want to say hello to you to sabotage you. To sacrifice you. We have greed. It says, I'm pursuing wealth and power with no regard for ethical or moral boundaries. Hell nah. So you got a greedy ass son of a bitch trying to come in to say hello. Hello, it's me. <laughs> to try to sacrifice you. They want to gain your trust in some way. This person's being, this person's very desperate right now. It says, I am in a bind and don't have anyone else to reach out to. Just love me, just love me. That's what they want you to do. Just love me. <laughs> I can't. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this person? Yeah, somebody trying to get to your home or they need a home. I don't know. Or somebody's hoping that you'll be home. They know that you're always home. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this person that want to come in and sabotage they ass? Who is this person? They could be a Caucasian individual, okay? Or you could be Caucasian. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this motherfucker? 
We have Gemini. This could be a Gemini here who wants to come towards you or someone wants to... This person definitely wants to communicate something to you, but it, they have a hidden agenda. Okay. Okay, they're going to be coming towards you with one face, but truly, you know, they have another behind the scenes. Like someone here is going to come in and try to like butter you up, be all nice, be all sweet, come in all smiley. But really behind the scene, they're like been cursing you and wanting you to like fail and, you know, have been angry. We have a loner. This person could be a loner. Or this is somebody here who wants to come in and find you and catch you alone at your house. Child, what the hell is this? We got urban area. You guys can live in an urban, or an urban area or this person does. Or when this person comes to approach you, they might come by themselves. But the thing is, they have a whole group of people behind them that are getting them to come towards you to say hello, to communicate something to you, to butter you up, to gaslight you. Because they're trying to sabotage you. They're trying to end something for you, stop something for you, get you in the hangman position out of greed. Their own greed and whatever. This person is a meanie, okay? Says most people think I'm rude. Or maybe somebody here thinks that you're rude. I've... A lot of people... Listen, somebody here might think you're rude. But I feel like it's because you mind your own business. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. For whoever I'm speaking to, you could be someone who stays to yourself. You mind your own business, you do what you have to do, you go throughout your day, you don't bother nobody. But you, the fact that you don't bother nobody, they automatically just think that you're rude or that you're stuck up or something. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, when you come across paths with people, like when you walk by people, you, you probably say hello. But I feel like people are upset because you don't take the time to like, you know, stop everything and like have conversations. Something like that could be happening. Or this person is just a mean ass. One or the other. We have uh, the cook. This person could be a chef or something. Or you are. Flip where I need to go. I'm not your madre. I'm not your padre. We have hothead. This person's a hothead. Okay. So this person is very much angry. They have a temper. They're going to come in real sweet and nice. But they have an agenda. Okay. They're being, they're desperate. There's a lot of chaos that's um, unfolding in their life. It says, it's not my fault. I'm a magnet for trouble. Chaos follows me everywhere. Child, please. Somebody here, um, they're only coming towards you because they feel obligated to talk to you. Like they have to talk to you about something. Maybe someone has to tell you about, um, I don't know. They have to tell you about something here. They have to come in with some form of truth. They need you to trust them in order for something to go their way. But you're being guided not to trust this person. Tell me more. That's the vibe it's giving for me. Okay. That's what it feels like to me. Karmic masculine. Yeah. So this is a karmic masculine that wants to come towards you. They want you to love them. Just love them. Just love them. <laughs> this person just wants you to love them. Okay. Um, ciao. You're being asked to have faith here. You know what's crazy? I just saw a short, a YouTube short earlier about somebody talking about, um, what'd he say? He was saying something here about, um, when you pray, it was something here about what Russell Brand said. He was talking about what Russell Brand was saying. Russell Brand just was talking about, um, Russell Brand is handsome. Anyways, let me keep going. Russell Brand, Russell Brand was talking about how, um, like when you start praying more, you also start noticing more coincidence happen in your life. Okay. But then the guy was saying, the other guy, I don't know his name. I don't remember his name. He was saying that when you pray more, it's not that you, you know, experience more coincidences. It's, which is, you know, synchronicities um basically he says when you pray more you just you get you get new vision new glasses basically you start seeing um the magical workings of god in your everyday life you see how god works through things all around you and it's because you allowed the holy spirit the divine the light of god to come within you something like that is going on child i mean that's not exactly how he said it verbatim but something along those lines okay um someone here is mad because you have the light of god in you and you have that vision you can see clearly you have discernment and someone here this karmic masculine is upset about this they're trying to find a way to to work around your discernment child <laughs> they're trying to 
they're trying to find a way okay there's a need for you to up your prayers at this time is what it feels like to me as well with that faith card out there somebody wants you to believe in them give them a second chance i don't know you do what you want what is that destiny yeah we got relationships so you have you have a faded relationship coming up for you if something's gonna happen unexpectedly i definitely don't think it's with this karmic master just saying okay yeah it's real love real love you got a, a, a new love okay tell me more yeah with a divine masculine i don't like that he turned reverse <laughs> he saw that i don't like that he flipped out the deck reverse what's that about divine masculine what the hell ice king so this could be a libra okay because it's the king of swords but it don't have to be okay um it could be an aquarius it could be a gemini it could be any sign truly okay but um someone wants to come in and tell you the truth or it's it's fated for someone to come in and tell you the truth about something what is this what are they going to come in and tell them because this is getting what are they going to come in and tell them what is fated They're going to come in and tell you about something here that um, you may be confused about. Or someone's going to come in and tell you about who was trying to get you to be unstable or um, create storms in your life or create conflict. Can you tell me what's going on? Or this is what someone's going to come in with. Ah, we got love. Someone here is going to tell you about um, who was trying to cloud their judgment about you. Because you are somebody that they love or something like that. Somebody here that they were attracted to. Tell me more. I don't know. This is giving two different men. This could be like a divine masculine in reverse. Like a div <laughs> this could be a divine masculine that lost his way for a second. Okay. I don't. I don't think this guy and this guy are the same guy. But it could be. It don't feel that way though. Tell me more. Someone's first motor or last name can start with a K or a J. Someone here could be born in June or something happened in June that someone wants to tell you about. We have community. This could have been a whole community of people that are trying to confuse this person about, you know, about you. It could have been their family. Something here about a home or something here about you not being, you not fitting into some sort of tradition or some sort of traditional box that they want you in i don't know somebody concerned this mature man keeps showing up we have gift here you're gonna be getting some sort of unexpected gift or offer someone here could be concerned about this we got false documents are being exposed maybe that's where the confusion was coming from we have mature man something here about this mature man could be of significance the bottom of the deck we got manifestation so yeah whatever you've been praying for or trying to manifest is coming in baby boo okay let's figure out what what are, what's with this mature man what's this mature man's intentions because i don't know if he's good or bad growth it says i see something inside of you i admire and i would like to learn from you so there's a mature man i guess that admires your growth it says plans can we please make plans to get together soon I don't, I don't know i guess it's pretty genuine whoever this mature man is is that why someone concerned because someone wants to talk to you this is so lame oh my god um what's this concern about it's hot diggity dang this could be a gemini here who's concerned Or someone's concerned that you don't trust them. Or someone's concerned that you'll find out that they were the culprit behind causing some sort of disharmony or imbalance between you two. Someone's concerned that somebody sees you as good news with the page of wands or that someone wants to take action towards you. 
yeah someone here was trying their best to um confuse somebody here about you or each other ay 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 this was a test or something here I don't know, but faith is um, basically allowing some. You, both of y'all having faith and determination, okay, is what's really bringing this situation together. And someone here is losing hope. We got star in reverse. Well, it came out sideways, but I'm gonna take a reverse. Whoever this concerned person is, they're losing hope now. They're feeling negative or having negative thoughts. Okay, they're in despair because some sort of confusion is being cleared up and that you're going to be getting some sort of wish fulfillment with the nine of cups here you're going to be happy i don't know somebody sees your value someone's worried about this maybe they've been trying very hard to stop this from happening tell me more about this mature man says welcome reconnection travel so someone's coming towards you they want to reconnect with your ass <sighs> says i want you to know that your presence is appreciated and i can be i can be a safe space for you it says reconnection i know it's been a while but i miss you being in my life and then we have travel i think we should take a trip mm growth at the bottom of the of the deck i don't know you're gonna have to fill this one out yourself you know take a trip chow who did who this this mature the not mature who's this divine masculine in reverse collaboration somebody here wants to work together with you says let's work together to achieve shared success okay so somebody wants to work with you mm -hmm. uncertain says my intentions are not yet clear i'm still trying to figure you out yeah maybe that's how you're gonna feel about this person big favor i need assistance with something big so someone needs your help with something they feel like you'd be the perfect one it says i'd love to get together sometime and learn more about you great news i have something amazing to tell you i don't know guys i i think this is good I think this is good i feel like it's good because some sort of truth is coming out and someone else is concerned about this what is this false documents about so there's a woman here who lied or there's a woman here who co who committed some form of fraud or did something sneaky in order to have stability or to be stable financially in some way and they're getting exposed this could have been something here about stolen inheritance a stolen contract something of that nature okay what's the energy of this person coming in spirit with this offer that, that someone else is concerned about who this person Ooh, we said it says no it says the answer is no not yet it says you are wrong damn it says apology it says seeking forgiveness apology feeling sorry needing to apologize swallowing pride so someone here you could have rejected confirmation you could have rejected somebody whoever this person that you rejected because they was um playing too many games or you know they wanted they gave you a really bad offer now they feel bad they want to come in and they want to apologize or something like this i don't know i don't know what you're gonna do They want your forgiveness. It says negative feelings. It says feelings of guilt, shame, regret, disappointment. So someone's sad. We have unhealed. This person's unhealed still. Or they're healing. Maybe they are healing. I don't know. This person could be going through the dark night of the soul. They're not feeling too hot. This is something here that they need to go through, though. This is like some sort of transformation they need to go through. Okay. Or maybe they'll go. And if they don't go through it, they might get stuck in it. In an unhealed situation in a in a an unhealed state okay it says i love you it says loving words they just want to say i love you unconditional love so someone here has unconditional love for your ass i guess someone here has a koi fish tattooed on them or something like that someone here could be japanese don't have to be 
We have the call. It says filling them around, calling in your person, attracting a divine connection. So someone here knows that you answered the call. You're in your life purpose. They know that you're attracting a divine connection here. And someone now wants to come in and say sorry. They want your forgiveness. They're, they're coming in and swallowing their pride. We have learning lessons. It says lessons, teachable moments. Use this experience to grow. So somebody's feelings of guilt and shame and regret and disappointment is in order to help this person learn how to treat people or to learn um, about appreciating something when you have it or something like that or um, not being a whore. I don't know. Something like that could be happening. Yeah, we got divine masculine. So this is a divine masculine here. Divine masculine, what the hell going on? You flipping out in reverse. Then you coming out here being all I'm sad. I'm in regret. What's <laughs> what? What is going on? I guess this divine masculine is healing. This is someone's masculine counterpart, your emperor. They they have unconditional love for you. Ciao. Somebody wants you to say no to a new connection. Somebody doesn't want someone new to come in and t and love you unconditional. They want you to say no to it. That's uh, no. I don't know what you're gonna do. It says meeting someone new. It says you don't know them yet. You don't know them yet. So, um, the person that you're gonna have unconditional love with is someone new. <laughs> Somebody knows if they come in. And they swallow their pride and apologize to you and take accountability. They know they have a they have a lot of mess to clean up. Okay. Because they know that they lost your trust. But they can't deny the spark or the chemistry that you guys share. I don't know what you're going to do. We have manifestation. Yeah, someone here is praying for you. They're trying to manifest you. They could even be doing love spell on your ass. I don't know. Don't have to be though. Yeah, incoming. This divine masculine's coming in. He's on his way. He's coming in fast too. He want to make plans with you. He might want to come towards you and ask you if you want to take a trip. I don't know. Or this. <laughs> this person's not the one. I don't think it is. The card came out. Not the one. says not the one for you not compatible failure mr or mrs wrong this is this yeah we got a uh, rest in reverse so this person can't rest they they feel like they can't be at rest they can't be at peace they don't feel comfortable knowing that you got someone new coming in okay it's breaking their heart for them imagining you being with someone else who cares this is like a divine masculine that missed his train he missed his boat he missed his flight. Is this somebody here that you had um, past lives with or something like that? A past life connection or a relationship? <laughs> Divine intervention in reverse. Yeah, nah. Somebody wants to come in and make you believe that something is fated to happen between you and this divine masculine in reverse, and it's a no. It says your angels are helping you. It says divine guidance, listening to signs. Okay. I don't know. And it came in reverse. So maybe someone here wasn't listening to their signs. Maybe this divine masculine didn't listen to the signs of when they should be coming towards you or didn't listen to the signs about, uh, you know, when they got them about healing themselves. Maybe they just thought these signs were coincidences instead of actual divine guidance from the Most High and their spirit team. And now they want to heal and it's too late. We got union at the bottom of the deck. I don't know, child. That's what it looked like to me. Maybe there's a possibility for this to happen um, or to come together, but I don't I, I don't know. Everyone has different situations going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Why do you have Divine Masculine? What is his intentions? Because I don't understand. What is this Divine Masculine's intentions? He wants to come in and say that he learned his lesson. He has, it says empathy. It says, I will provide emotional support and always try to understand you. 
It says entertainment. It says I find your life amusing and your stories comical. So somebody here feels like they could have fun with you or something like this. And then we have curious. It says I'm intrigued and I want to learn more. Somebody here wants to come in and, and they want you to teach them how to heal. Sage advice. It says I've been thinking a lot about your situation. And I'd like to offer a fresh perspective. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this. Maybe you need to hear this person out. Maybe this person just wants you to hear them out. Maybe someone, you know, was confused about who you were as a person. I, I don't know. For some of y'all, maybe you are supposed to take this person back and help heal them. Okay. Um, for some of y'all, something here about the, the the door's already been closed. I don't know. Maybe somebody got a reading in the past and they realized they chose the wrong person over you or they chose the wrong path. And that's why they're surprised because maybe they found out during a reading or they went to some sort of psychic or palm reader, whatever it is, and they found out that you too had some sort of um, some sort of spiritual connection, some sort of spiritual union together. Okay? Maybe this person found out that you're their empress. And now they're realizing how they done, like, screwed you over. It's too late. <laughs> There's a karmic feminine here that's about to um, experience a world of trouble, child. Lord have mercy. Let's get out Big Bertha. Oh my God. Let's get out Big Bertha real quick. I, I don't know what you guys are going to do about this. <clears throat> if this person even decides to swallow their pride and come towards you. Because for some of y'all, this person might even, they might not even go past that <clears throat> point. Hell no. We got DV. Life threatening illness. Ciao. This could be something that a karmic feminine could be going through, DV, or a life-threatening illness, or a divine masculine, I don't know. Or a, a karmic masculine wanting to be divine, I don't know. We got 1010, you guys could be seeing 1010 a lot. Something here is completing. We got 222, you guys could be seeing this number as well. Okay. Happy birthday, it could be somebody's birthday. Or something here about someone's birthday. Maybe you're dealing with someone whose birthday is coming up soon. This person could be a Libra. This person could be a Virgo. Or your birthday is coming up soon. And someone here might want to like surprise you for like a birthday present. Maybe this person wants to come in and, and offer. Or this person might want to come in and like propose to you for your birth. Hey guys, I just have one of those like emergency texts come on my phone. Anyway. Okay, so yes, I, I could be on the money. So somebody here might want to just come in and uh, for your birthday propose for you, propose to you as a birthday gift. We got alcohol. This person might be coming towards you all hopped up on the alcohol or all drunk or maybe somebody here, um, maybe when they get drunk, they get violent. I don't know. We have father. This could be your father or somebody else's father or your baby father. Or there's a father here that may have a life-threatening illness because of alcohol abuse. Okay. Something could be going on with somebody's hands. We have strange vibes. So somebody here got some strange-ass vibes that you need to be aware of. We have second-degree burglary is of significance. Maybe somebody here is going to be getting charged with that. Okay. There's a need for you to, like, evade this person. Okay. I'm also getting like, someone doesn't like that some sort of restriction has been lifted from you. Someone has you under some form of restriction and it's been lifted. We have Capricorn Aquarius Cusp. You guys could be dealing with a Capricorn Aquarius Cusp here. Um, we have, or you are one. We have Listen Linda. There's a need for you to pay attention. We got Psychic. You could be a Psychic here. Or somebody here went to a Psychic. Or you could be a psychic. You need to pay attention to some sort of strange vibes that you may be receiving from someone here. Because this person don't like you because of uh, what you look like. Says, I hate you because you're prettier than me. Okay. Maybe you, yeah, I don't know. Something like that is going on with y'all. What else is happening, Captain? We got, I made a copy of your keys, sister. 
So your sister could have took something from you and they lied on you in court. Sister. Sister, sister. Sister, sister. I got my own mind. I got my own style. I got my own mind. We got um stomach issues. Someone here could be having some sort of stomach issues here. Pay attention to your gut, okay? We have a hit and run involving a death could be of significance. So someone here could have been all drunk, drunk driving, or someone here is going to drunk drive, get a DUI or something, and harm somebody. <sighs> we got a private investigator. Something here about a private investigator is of significance here. Your sister and your father or your sister-in-law and your baby daddy, something like that, could have hired a private investigator here to snoop on what you got going on in your life. We have Tiana Taylor, Rose in Harlem. It's always the ones closest to you. Okay, pay attention to these strange vibes from people close to you right now. We got Jerug Dealer. Someone here could be a Jerug, a Jerug Dealer here. Something here about your spirituality is of significance. We have, um, or your spiritual beliefs. We have apartment application approved good vibes so some of you could be getting approved to, um to a new apartment complex with good vibes holy spirit holy angels tell me more we have 19 to 25 years old okay someone here could be in that age that age range where you need to pay attention to someone's vibes okay someone's vibes is off it says i think there are people that help you become the person you end up being and you can be grateful for them okay it says, even if they were never meant to be in your life forever. So someone here is what isn't meant to be in your life forever. Like I said, you have someone holding on to your energy. They're in this heartbreak energy now. But they're not supposed to be in your life forever. They don't want you to be with someone new. Oh, well. Someone here didn't learn the lesson in, in time. That's what it looked like to me. We have sassy person. You could be a very sassy person. And you got someone here real petty. You got a Tom Petty over here. Somebody's acting real. What is this petty about? What's this pettiness about? Or you're about to find out how petty someone is. This could be a King of Cups in reverse. This man was petty as hell. King petty. Overly emotional, manipulative, moody. Focused on their feelings and no one else's. But yeah, at the same time, this person's emotionally unavailable. Yeah, this person, this King of Cups in reverse, this could be a Cancer. Okay. They're going to be um, experiencing a dead end in life or they're about to go through a breakdown or um, they're about to hit rock bottom. Okay. Or this is what somebody here was trying to do to you and now it's happening to them. Or maybe they did that to you. Or someone here is going through a divorce from a king of, the king of cups and the queen of cups. You might, you're going to find out how petty somebody was when they, when they betrayed your ass. You could be this queen of cups, don't have to be, child. You are in a situation where somebody here was not giving you an equal give and take. You poured into this person. This person did not reciprocate that energy. You could be someone who's psychic, very loving, very emotionally connected. Somebody here wants to play on your empathetic, um, empathetic ways. They're going to come in very quickly towards you. Because they don't like that they, they're not winning. They don't like that they have lost. Whoever this petty person is. They want to they wanna break you down. This, is, this, this person has been trying to do this to you ever since you walked away. Ever since you decided to release them. Because you realized that something was unequal. You deserved better than an unemotionally available person. Okay. So this person tried to get you to be paranoid, trying to put you in isolation, trying to make you lonely, trying to get you to feel powerless, trying to make you antisocial so that you wouldn't date somebody else or whatever this is. But like I said before, some, some form of restriction, like all these restrictions that someone was trying to put on you, like trying to get you to be paralyzed by fear, it's being lifted. The restrictions being lifted and somebody's mad about this. Because you're not this hermit in reverse anymore. You're an enlightened person. You have gone through some sort of growth. You're growing. Okay. Ciao. 
petty as hell. Under the influence. Somebody could have been doing this with a third party or a third party rival was doing this to you. Someone here um, par parties very heavily. Or maybe when you were with this person, you guys were partying very heavily. Something like that is going on. Tell me more. We have everybody has a choice and they're all being judged for whatever choices they've made. Second degree burglary. Someone here could have broken to your home. Okay, or broke into something here that that agreed. It says co co-worker was paid to sabotage you. So there was a co-worker here that was paid to sabotage you guys. You're going to find out about this or you already know. You're going to get confirmation. We have dog lover. Someone here could be a dog lover. We have stepmom. Something here about your stepmom could have made a copy of your keys or something like this. Um, or stole your identity. We have singing is healing. We have self-reliant. You could be someone who's very self-reliant. Someone here is very mad about this. We got fake friend. You guys could have a fake friend here that's about to get exposed. Okay. Ciao. Someone didn't expect you to be so self-reliant, so resilient. Everybody. Everybody you didn't fucked up. What's up with this stem mom? What time is it? Shoot. <laughs> Stepmom with the toilet. You guys could be cleansing some sort of energy that this stepmom could have been trying to send you. Someone here was trying to flush your good luck down the toilet, but they getting flushed down the toilet. Yeah. They're watching you work through difficulties that they created for you and in your life. Okay? Whoever this stepmom is, they're very much delusional as fuck. They could be an alcoholic. Okay. They could have some form of addiction. Or they were trying to get you to be stuck in, the, in an addiction and put you down a new direction off your path. Um, and get you to go down the path of the devil. Okay. Or the darkness. If you know what I'm saying. Low vibing. Somebody wanted you to be low vibing. We have Libra at the bottom of the deck. You're about to get some sort of justice or some sort of truth is about to be exposed. What else do they need to hear? Spirit. It's hot diggity dang. Somebody's sad. Just love me, just love me. Just love me. <laughs> okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else they need to hear regarding this situation? Somebody doesn't like that you're in your groove, you're in your flow. They're trying to disrupt your flow of things the natural flow of things we have captivate she exudes confidence like perfume moves with grace and wears intelligence like a crown says love doesn't just come to her it bows down to her well hot diggity dang somebody mad that you um you be captivating people or something like this somebody knows that you're gonna have love come towards you they know it they're very much upset about this. We have temptress. It says a temptress is not just about seduction. It's about captivating hearts with intelligence, confidence, and mystery. So hot diggity dang. This is what you're being looked at. This is how you're being viewed, guys, by this person or by people in general. We have strategic. It says may your path be lined with triumphs and may your strength inspire others to navigate their journey with the same tenacity. Okay, maybe somebody here feels like you're being strategic on how you're moving or something like that. Or maybe you need to be. We have natural beauty. It says, forget the filters. Your authenticity is the actual magnet. Let your natural beauty do what it is supposed to do. Attract love. Okay, so something about uh, tapping into your natural beauty or embracing it. Something like that is going on, child. Or maybe this is something that you're already doing. Maybe just you being um true to you and living your life you know in your truth is it what's attracting some sort of love here maybe you are attracting a lot of suitors and you got a lot of people jealous of it you got a lot of people jealous they jelly they jealous oh they're salty oh so sad go drink a glass of water bitch we have keep your love story under wraps let the jealous ones squirm they can't stand that glow up 
you've got going on, baby. They can't. They hate it. They hate your glow up. Who cares, child? Go suck a dick. <laughs> this is a beautiful. What else they need to hit? Pirate. What else they need to hit? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear this time for their highest good regarding this situation? Someone's obsessed with you. Someone's obsession is like wild. Yeah, someone here was definitely going to a practitioner in order to get assistance on how to do some sort of curse on you or something here, but you were protected from it. Okay, someone here was trying to stop you from breaking a generational curse. This could have been somebody in your family doing this or an ex or a third party situation. Yeah, you got someone coming towards you wanting to say hi, okay? Hello, it's me, <laughs> okay? That's what somebody wants to come in and say to you, okay? Um, this person has a sexually transmitted disease or a sexually transmitted demon, okay? It says, be careful. Someone courting or dating you is dealing with a lot of, lot of energetic burdens and dark entities. So be mindful. Someone wants to come in and sabotage you. They want to give you these burdens, these entities. It says all in your mind. It says you are clear of psychic attacks and evil eye during this time. Continue cleansing your energy. Okay. So there's a need for you to, um, I don't know, just continue cleansing your energy. Nothing can stop you. Nothing's blocking you at this time. Only you are blocking yourself at this time. Okay. We have pity party. It says someone is going through tough times and wants you to experience the same thing. So you got someone here who's going through karma for trying to do magic on you. Okay. And it backfiring. And now they want you to, this is so dumb. And now they want you to have bad times too. It says healing energy work. It says the work you have done on yourself has worked. The negative energy has dissipated. And then we have mirror magic. It says someone envies you and is trying to steal your essence to become a mirror image of you. Real creepy. Okay. Yeah, no matter what they're trying to do, it won't work. It says sunshine magic. The light will be illuminated on your situation. What is done in the dark will come to the light. That is literally the line that I said to like my karmic ass family members. I said what's done in the dark will come to the light. That was like what, three, four years ago? I'm not gonna do the shells. No, maybe I should. Let me do the shells. This is gonna be loud. Okay. Somebody's first middle or last name can start with a C, a Z, a C again, a Y, an O, a J, a P, an L, a P again, a J. A U and O, an S, an A, an I, a U, an M, a B, an E, an I again, a V again, a Z, an X, an R, an S, an F, an H, an E. Someone here could be 28 years old. You guys could be, someone here could be born in 82. Someone here could be 38. Someone here could be born in 88. Someone here could be 44. Someone here could be 22. We got 444. You are being divinely protected at this time. We got 144 as well. Okay. We have 77 out here again. Someone here could be 57, 47, 41, 48, 35, 34, 31. 30, 69, 59. Someone here could be a mule. Someone here could um be a Jerug mule or something like that. Or maybe that's what someone wants to set you up to be. A mule. Maybe someone wants to this this masculine energy wants to come in that's experiencing negative energy or ma whatever. Whoever this ex is, that's karmic. They want to come in, they want to be all sweet and butter you up, and then ask you to go on a trip with them. But they're only doing this because they're trying to set you up to be to look like a uh, to frame you to be a Jerug 
mule that's for some of you not all y'all or that's or this is what this person does for a living or this person's incredibly stubborn or somebody here just wants to use you like a mule like to um get something that they want they're just using you as like a means to get what they want Someone here could roll around with a posse. Someone here could roll around with a posse or something like that. A group of people. Something here about cred. Somebody here is trying to do something for cred. Something here about somebody's job. Maybe somebody here could have lost a job or something here. They could be moping around. Something about Sopas could be of significance. Someone's name could be Lacey. Something here about Dairy or someone's diary could be of significance. Someone here could have been a liar. Or they're being exposed as a liar. Someone's name is Blair. Someone's name is Claire. Someone's name is Rob. Or Robin. Someone's name is Jorge. Or Jose. Someone's name is Rosa or Rose. Something here about a price. There was a price to take you down or something like that. Or someone here is afraid now because they lost. They have to pay the price. Or they did the crime. Now they have to do the time. Someone's name could be Clay. Someone's name could be Clayton. Someone's name could be Jay. Someone's name is Chad. Yeah. It's time for you to be at peace. Okay. It's time for peace to enter your life. Someone here was trying very hard for to disturb your peace. Something about the winter solace is significant. Someone's name is Judy. Something here about Judge Judy could be of significance. We have Judy. Or Judy Bloom. I don't know. Those are, aren't they like mystery books? Something here about solving a mystery. You could have solved a mystery or the mystery is about to be solved. We got cap. Somebody here can use that word a lot. Something here about seals. Someone here could live where there's a lot of seals. Seal. Or something here that was once sealed is going to become unsealed. Like this could be a case. A sealed case becoming unsealed. Something here about Juniper could be of significance. Juniper. Juniper. I almost said Juniper. Ju Jennifer. Someone's name could be Jennifer. Juniper berries or something. Someone's name is Murray. Harper. Someone here could be bisexual. Someone here could be a jock. They could play sports or something here. Someone here is definitely jealous. No disrespect, it's my right to be hellish. I still get jealous. <laughs> That's real high pitch. Something, something beautiful, and everybody wants a taste. That's why. 
I still get jealous. So somebody here is jealous about the attention or the or the I don't know, the people that are attracted to you or something like that. You guys could be seeing 414 or something like this. Somebody just jealous. Somebody jealous. They lost something. They're dumb. Who knows? Someone's name is Desmond. Something here about the story of Moses is significant. You could be a leader. Someone's jealous of you being a leader or you having some sort of enlightenment. We got R.I.P. Something here is dead and over with or someone here is about to pass away for something here. Someone here could be a cop or there's a policeman involved in this situation. Something here about a body. Someone here could have jinxed something here. Or they were trying to jinx you or hex you. We got the word hex. There could be a hex here that's being lifted from you. Someone here could be real fussy. <laughs> I can't. <clears throat> something about basil. Some of you need to work with basil, the herb, or something like that. Something about a meal? A meal deal. I don't know. Let me... We're done. We're done. I gotta end this. What am I gonna use? Let's just use these. No, let's use these. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear right now for their highest good so with the ramp? Because hot diggity dang. Thank you. We have 666, reflect. Since so several unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel. This is a chance to reevaluate your identity. You need to you need a mental shift towards greater optimism, self-assurance, and trust. Put your faith in your gut and inner voice. Pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person. So I don't know. There's a need for you to reflect here when it comes to somebody, when it comes to the matters of love and you having compassion or kindness to something, someone here or having compassion and kindness towards yourself. Okay. We have three, 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 three social skills. It says the problems you have today will eventually disappear. Your guardian angels encourage you to maintain a positive outlook on your life since your luck may be about to change. It is time to put those put to use your captivating energy and inspirational personality and don't let your ego get the best of you. So hot diggity dang, you're being liberated. You got success and prosperity coming your way, baby boo. You captivating bitches out here. You captivating bitches. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else they need to hear? This is beautiful. I think it dang. Embrace yourself? I don't know. And then we got 999. It says release. It says your current situations, no, circumstances are ending. So you might take advantage of better ones. So whatever's ending in your life right now that is a perceived obstacle or challenge, it's supposed to. Okay? If you are experiencing a significant change or conclusion, viewing your life as a series of cycles or chapters may be helpful. How can you make room for something new to emerge? This is something that you could ask yourself. All right. Listen, y'all, this is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.